Hello and welcome to the interview with Mladen Jovanovic. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and today I'm interviewing my friend Mladen Jovanovic from ComplementaryTraining.net. Mladen, welcome to the interview and thank you for being here. Hi Mark, thanks for inviting me. Okay, the, uh, the reason I asked Mladen for this interview is that he's one of the top people in high performance physical preparation and he's definitely one of the best people, if not the best people in this area that I know. So for this reason I wanted to, to ask you a few questions about uh, strength and conditioning and especially how it relates to MMA. First, can you describe what you do and how your website helps coaches? So we are running a website called uh, Complementary Training. It's a membership website. We post there uh, content from um, training related fields, uh, especially strength conditioning, as well as some stuff from uh, analytics aimed for um, sports scientists working mostly in team sports, but individual sports as well, such as you know martial arts, uh, combat sports, and, and so forth. We also sell a um, few Excel tools, Excel templates that are uh, quite helpful for coaches in terms of uh, making, making planning easier, such as uh, annual planning, and we also sell um, Strength Car Builder, which is a template I use as a strength conditioning coach to help me quickly uh, create workouts and, and create a printout cards for, for uh, individuals I'm working with or, or even team. So with few clicks, you can, uh, you can generate a, a, a printout template and you know, give it to your athletes or put it on a wall and if you have a bigger group in the gym. So something that uh, I found when I had a skin in the game pretty much. So, uh, and hopefully, I try to sort out my problems and hopefully um, sort, you know, people who are in a similar field and domain having same same issues as well. So hopefully solving their problems as well. Okay, uh, you mentioned skin in the game, and we'll get back to that. I w I'd like to ask you about that, uh, about that concept. Uh, those Excel cards and the, that software that you sell, uh, is this applicable to MMA and martial arts coaches? not just strength and conditioning coaches, as a tool for planning the training of their athletes. Yeah, sure thing. It's, it's quite a flexible template, so you can, uh, you can modify it to suit your specific needs. Uh, and planning is quite similar across multiple domains. So, uh, you know, different domains also have similar planning issues. So, um, and sports are much more, sports have much more uh, shared issues. So you can apply to team sports and individual sports. It's, it's quite flexible. And uh, strength card builder, the, the printout cards that, that you get, uh, I mean, you can, you can use it for everyone who's actually, you know, lifting and training in the gym. So, you know, regardless, regardless of the sport. Oh, so it's, it's, it's about lifting and training in the gym. It, it, it cannot be used specifically for martial arts training as a, as, as a tool to improve technical uh, abilities of the athlete. It's only for strength and conditioning, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that's the one that help you prescribe training, like, uh, mm -hmm weights and uh, reps that needs to be lifted so that's a strength car builder and, and the other one is annual planner so that's the one oh, that you can use to plan any any sport pretty much what is your experience with martial arts can you tell me that um, i mean started with the blood sport and jacques claude van damme so <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm, most I'm, of us <laughs> i'm that generation so uh i mean started with the karate and taekwondo and you know as a kid so uh i'm i'm by no means a uh, martial arts you, you've been coaching me so you know i have some decent level but nothing competitive so um the major the major martial art the, i would say the major involvement in martial arts started um when i was in pula in croatia as um started um, doing brazilian jiu-jitsu in my second year of high school so i did that for like two years and then i went to a um, you know, faculty of sports and then i experimented with that you know different martial arts uh eventually found myself in uh, preferring boxing and preferring, I wouldn't say martial arts, but martial sports. That's a slight difference. So the, the combative or competitive sports, such as boxing, judo, uh, wrestling, uh, MMA. Uh, but I also had experience in, you know, the exotic arts, such as ninjutsu and, uh, and Russian Sistema. And I mean, I, I've been trying it, and, and they're quite uh, useful to, you know, understand the you know, culture and different philosophies of training. And, and it helped tremendously, but um, I still prefer like um, sports where you actually have a contact rather than, you know, uh, fighting with an invisible opponent. If you want to take your mental game to the next level, 
Check out my mental training for MMA 2.0, a fighter's guide to mental toughness instructional. To find out more, click on the link in the description.